All right. Hello everyone. 80 days to cat and today we are dealing with functions. So let's see how do we approach problems in functions. I'll take a couple of problems which are similar to problems that have been part of cat in the previous years. The approach for functions is one practice. How many questions have you solved in the back end? The second is when you are having a look at the question, you must be able to see the pattern. What is the pattern that I'm talking about here? The pattern is very, very simple. I have something relating fx, fx plus four and fx plus two. Here I have 22, I have 30 and I have to find 20, which basically means that if 20 is x, then this is x plus 10 and this is x plus two. I have to relate fx plus 10 with fx plus 2 and fx. At least now the requirement is clear. Now let's see how can we build up on this pattern. fx plus 4 is equal to fx plus fx plus 2. Quite simply, I'll you know raise this to fx plus 6 is equal to this becomes fx plus 2 plus fx plus 4, right? Similarly, I can write fx plus 8 is equal to fx plus 4 plus fx plus 6. And similarly, I can write fx plus 10 is equal to fx plus 6 plus fx plus 8. The pattern is very, very clear. I have to get fx plus 10 and I have to get fx and fx plus 2. Everything else has to go. I can take fx plus 2 here and fx plus 4 I'll substitute as fx and fx plus 2. So I can write this as fx plus 2 fx plus 2. This fx plus 4 and fx plus 6. fx plus 4 is this and fx plus 6 is this. I just add them in terms of fx and fx plus 2. This becomes 2 fx plus 3 fx plus 2. And similarly fx plus 10 is fx plus 6 plus fx plus 8. This and this just add it 3 fx plus 5 fx plus 2. The more you practice, the easier you catch the pattern and the you know faster you solve these problems. fx plus 10 has been represented as fx and fx plus 2. Now you just put the values. What is fx plus 10? I put x is equal to 20. f30 becomes 3f20 plus 5f22. I know f22 is 182, so this becomes 910. f30 is given as 1234 and this is 3. I need to find out this. So, so therefore f20 becomes 108. I hope this is clear to you. The answer is answer option D. Let's solve a similar question. Again, the logic remains the same. Catch the pattern, solve the question and do a lot of practice in the back end. Right? Let's see f128 is given as 8. Now see the pattern here. fx into y is fx into fy. So therefore f2 into f64 is f128. f4 into f32 is f128 and f8 into f16 is f128. So basically we have to find the value of f1 into 2 into 64, 128. 4 into 32, 128 and 8 into 16, 128. Now I know the value of f128 that's 8. If I put 8, 8 and 8 here, this becomes f1 into 8 cube, which is 5, 12 into f1. You put x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. So f1 square is equal to f1 into f1. So f1 is equal to f1 square. So what values can I take? I can take f1 as 0. I can take 1 as 1. Quite clearly from the answer options itself, I can't take 0, so leave it behind, the answer becomes 512. I hope this is clear to you. So catch the pattern, observe the problem and do a lot of practice. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Take care and bye-bye.